All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. So today, we're going to react to uh, Jonathan Majors being found guilty of assault or whatever he was found guilty of. Uh, and um, we be back, man. So let's get it. Who raised you? was crazy oh my god uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh eat each other what yo i yeah, can't I understand it neither i'm just ahead of it oh uh, yeah man we back sketch pad look so this is uh his name is big o yeah, go follow him on his channel you know what i'm saying we're gonna put his link in the description Go follow this man. This man is pretty good. He does a lot of good reactions. And we're going to have him as a special guest on probably this week sometime or next week sometime. You know what I'm saying? After Christmas or whatever. But we're going to have him on to discuss some things. And, um, yeah, so let's let him speak on this whole itch situation. And um, we're going to chime in and tell, say how we feel. You know how it goes. So let's get it, man. Sketch pad. Ish that I did not have to make this video. In fact, I had plans on making a video with a totally different topic altogether. But unfortunately, the American justice system will always proceed to show its true colors. Jonathan Majors has been found guilty of assault and harassment. He was acquitted of two other charges, but I am trying to figure out exactly how this jury was able to convict Jonathan Majors off of some evidence that proves that he was the victim in this situation. All right, so look. It's two things, uh, two things that I agree with. I understand the whole situation that they're saying about America. When they say America, everybody say America is systemically racist. This is one of the re this is one of the reasons why they say that. This is one of the reasons. When they say America is inherently racist, the justice system is biased towards black men. This is one of the reasons right here. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't you know I don't get into that systemic racism shit. You know that. But this is the reason why they say that. So when you whenever whenever somebody on the right says well, America isn't systemically racist, or America isn't isn't a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, inherently racist. The justice system isn't inherently racist. No, the justice system is very biased when it comes to black men. Let's be clear here. Very biased, and this is a perfect example. Perfect example. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I agree with you. I agree. When I heard, when I heard about it. I was like, dang, but I thought I thought he was off of all those charges. They didn't found something else. And, you know, I uh, I stumbled upon a page that they were arguing about who should replace him and in, uh, in the Clang series and all this other that. And it, it's, it's just a shame, man. It's a shame, but, you know. We're going to get into that. We're definitely going to get into that. I'm still trying to figure that out, ladies and gentlemen. I watched the videos. I went and watched a lot of the evidence being produced to the jury. And even the witnesses in the case, testimony helped that of Jonathan Majors. So I'm trying to figure out exactly how they had come to some kind of conclusion that this man was deserving of being found guilty of assault and harassment well you know why we all know why because they can't whenever it comes whenever it's between a man and a woman and especially if it's a black man they can't just let shit like that slide they won't they won't let it slide it has mm -hmm. to he has to come out sometime he ain't coming out of the unscathed we ain't gonna have another oj case it's not happening and even what happened with him a couple years later 
he went to prison for something that was stupid. For stealing his stuff back. <laughs> mm-hmm. He put the man in prison for stealing his own stuff back. Video showed Jonathan Majors running away from the situation. Not the opposite. See, what we have here, we have a justice system that doesn't care if a man is innocent or not. We have a justice system that doesn't care for relevant evidence. That is a Because what I saw... That's 100% facts. That's 100% facts. Mm-hmm. This whole shit happened with Tory Lanez. Mm-hmm. They don't care about... They don't, they don't care about the evidence or the facts. They go off how they feel. If they feel you guilty, then you're fucking guilty. That's it. Yep. That's it. Shit. I did not see Jonathan Majors being an aggressor in this situation. I saw Jonathan Majors being the victim. And yeah, people can say, man, you're a fan of Jonathan Majors. You're going to feel a certain type of way about the situation. However, I was the person who acknowledged that their relationship was toxic. It is the same thing that happened between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. I never said that Johnny Depp didn't do a lot of the things that he was accused of. What I said was he wasn't the only person in that situation doing things that that we would consider, I would say, out of line regarding that of a relationship. But we all felt as if Johnny Depp shouldn't have been the only person who had some repercussions from that situation. In this situation, it seems as if only Jonathan Majors will face repercussions for this situation. Despite the ex attacking him, despite the ex stalking him when he ran away from the situation, this man will be on the losing side. And that's another thing. They got they got her chasing him. How do you get I don't understand how you get a guilty verdict for anything. If this guy is running from the girl, <laughs> I don't understand it. Like he's literally running from her, trying to get away from her. And again, but we're going, we're going to let him talk some more and we're going, we're going, we're going to finish this up. Because I feel like even if he files an appeal, he's still not going to win. This has totally ruined this man's career. This justice system should be ashamed of itself. This justice system should start to recognize when they should lay down and throw in the towel. Somehow, some way, they managed to get a conviction when they know they wasn't even supposed to pursue charges in the first place. Now, from my understanding, they claim that Jonathan Majors was found guilty on an assault charge and you can read the article yourself. This is from ABC News. I probably will link it in the description below. They said that Jonathan Majors picking her up and putting her back in the car was assault. However, however, they refused to acknowledge the fact that the witness, the driver, you know, had told them that Jonathan Majors had just been striked by that of the so-called victim. So how is it that this man is convicted of this? Personally, he did the right thing by trying to get away from the situation. And he still is being punished for it. That is a shame. That is a shame. This is is a dog day in America, ladies and gentlemen, because I feel as if men and women alike, because women are most likely in a domestic violence situation than that of men, they're going to be in a situation one day that they are not going to be believed, right? They can be the victim and they can really and truly be on the brink of being unalived, right? But yet the justice system would not do anything to protect them. That's how it always will be regarding this country. Now, Jonathan Major's career already has taken a hit, right? However, There's a new report, or I would say breaking news, that has said that Marvel Studios has dropped him from the role of King the Conqueror. 
So now the dominoes are going to start falling even faster. You know how they do the little trick? They push the little domino down and it's just one, 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 one. And then all of a sudden it goes out and do all kind of little maneuvers and knock down a whole tower of dominoes. That's what's about to happen right now. This man has been ruined, ruined by this verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think that he will be able to bounce back from this. Maybe some straight to DVD films, who knows, some screaming movies. But as far as a major Hollywood movie studio touching him, those days are over. The only chance that he has right now is to follow a pill and win that appeal. You know, he has to do all of this all over again and win. Now, other reports out there says that Jonathan Majors will be facing up to one year in jail or prison. However, they're also saying that that is unlikely because he is a first time offender. So he may very well walk away with some probation and a little bit community service and some fines, but he most certainly would not be going to that of jail or prison over this matter, which is good news because the brother doesn't deserve to be convicted in the first place. But even though he's not going to jail or prison, I'm going to say jail or prison because they can do either. You know, people do not know the difference between jail and prison. Jail is meant to house you for a temporary period of time. However, prison is meant to house you for a long lasting time. Let's just say that. But I, I have to tell you guys that because people do not know the difference. But I'm glad that he would not see either of those, you know, in the future. But this thing is just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. This man do not deserve this. I feel like this jury needs to be vetted. Somebody needs to see exactly what this jury had going on behind closed doors. You know, I, I feel as if they was a little bit too close to this, if you ask me. Maybe somebody went through something a while ago on that jury stand and they just felt what uh, the victim was coming from and decided to convict him on something, right? Because even though he picked up and put it in the car, I would say that is an act of def desperation, right? That's not him assaulting her. And then not to mention, even in the article, they, even in the article, the jurors said that they know for a fact that he did not mean any harm. It, it just, it, it's just crazy. It's crazy. I, I do not get it. This is absolutely atrocious. Jonathan Majors, man, just hold your head up. I know you may not watch this video, but hold your head up, man. I'm still a supporter of yours. You know what I'm saying? If you have a movie, I'm going to go watch it. But I do feel as if there's going to be a lot of movie studios that's not going to touch you in any which way, shape, or form. And that is a shame. That is a shame. You are the victim in this situation, my man. I watched the video. I saw you run away. I saw you do everything within your power to remove yourself from the situation. And I also saw someone stalking you. I also saw someone grab you. Right. Someone literally grabbed you when you was trying to get away. But yet that person isn't being charged with anything. I mean, how does that go? Right. How? Huh? Think about that for a second. This. Uh, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated. I really did hope to make a video today entitled that video. Jonathan Majors has been found not guilty, but yet I'm here have to make this video and report to you that Jonathan Majors is no longer Cain the Conqueror. <sighs> Matter of fact, Jonathan Majors is no longer anything. That's right. Every role he had in the future, every thing he had lined up, even endorsements, possibly, all those things have seemingly walked away from Jonathan Majors in a few hours. I know this man is stressed out at this moment. I know. He was on his way to do some great things. And here it is. The American justice system threw a wrench in what he had going on. All because they could not stand the fact that he was successful. He was blowing up in Hollywood. This man was set to make an estimated $30 million for his role of Cain the Conqueror in Cain Dynasty in Secret Wars. And here it is, here it is, before he had the opportunity to get his major payday, 
Someone had to do something before he got there. I, I swear, you cannot make this up. I'm your boy O. Hopefully you have watched this video all the way to the end to help your boy out that algorithm. And if you're not subscribed, please be sure to do so. I'm trying to get to the magical number 3,000 subscribers, so I will be highly appreciative if you would help me cross over that threshold by hitting that subscribe button. And if you are going to hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell because YouTube absolutely sucks at notifying subscribers that content creators has uploaded videos to their platform. And don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me about that algorithm, baby. But in the comments below, let me know what you thought about the verdict and also what you think about Jonathan Majors no longer being King the Conqueror. And yes, we're going to be making a video really soon as to what Marvel Studios should do regarding this situation and replacing the character of Kane or even replacing Jonathan Majors as Kane. Let me know in the comments below. Hey man, shout out to your boy O man. Thank you for uh that reaction and breaking down some things. All right, so Sketchpad, we back. Look, man, this is this is a typical 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 day in the black man's life in the justice system. This is what they do. This is what they do. Now I seen some people online saying, um, this is what happens when you mess with snow bunnies. This is what happens when you mess with white women. This is what happens. I'm not I'm not one of those people. I'm gonna tell you like this. Women do this, period. This is just this is just the age of feminism. And this is what happens. And they do stuff like that. This is what these women do. This man trying to get away from this woman because she's in her feelings. And it's like we have to accommodate these women who are in their feelings about stuff. Who's crying about everything. So fucking what he cheated on you. So what he cheated on you. Who cares? Who cares? If you shut your fucking mouth and let him do what he want to do, this all wouldn't have happened. Now he lost everything and you probably going to lose everything. You going to meet another dude? Nobody's going to want to deal with you. Things going to happen. Nobody's going to want to deal with you. No guy's going to want to deal with you. They're going to be like, nah, fuck that. You crazy. So my thing is like, we blame the justice system. Well, we, we need to hold these women accountable too. That does stuff like this. We definitely do. Yeah. <clears throat> well, like I already said to you what, what my thoughts was off camera, but uh, I'll repeat um it's a shame it really is because um it, it even hurts me to even say that they're racist in the justice system against the black man it even hurts me to say it but it's a prime example of it and this is exactly why you know they use the whole race card when it comes to certain things you know that is not even race don't even have to be involved. And this is why they do it because of things like that. So the more, so the more mistakes and the more the justice system does things like this, the more you will see people that don't even know what race really is being racist really is the more you're going to see them pinpoint stuff. That's not even racist. Uh, it's a shame, man. It's a shame, man. I feel I feel I feel bad for the guy because he was just starting to kick off and he was playing all these characters that were fire. If y'all ever seen Creed, man, he did his numbers in Creed. That joint was crazy. He had me believing every bit that he just that he just got got out behind the wall. He had me believing every bit. And then the whole uh, Kang Dynasty, he's a phenomenal actor, man. That's why you got to, listen, that's why you got to let them joins alone and focus on your career. Yeah. Leave them joins alone. Yeah. Them joins get you in trouble. Just hit and run. Yep. It. You ain't seen your wife or you ain't known her for a long time. These girls are crazy, man. They do whatever to try to get paid there. So, yeah, 
But hey, man, shout out to your boy, old man. We're going to post this. We're going to put his link in the description. Go follow that, man. You know what I'm saying? He got some good reviews over there. He talks about some good stuff. If you went to some things, you know, DC and Marvel and stuff like that. So just go follow your boy, O. Shout out to him. We're going to have him on the show one day. All right, man. Peace to y'all. Bye.